And look at how OP this auto farm is guys. It's actually way faster than the older GYs. And this GY just gave me this fruit for free. This is so OP. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys the latest and newest scrape GYs for blocks fruits. These new scrape GYs have some new features, which I had to show to you guys. So in this video, I'll be showing you I can download and use these scripts. So make sure to watch it entirely. And also, a random viewer watching this video will have a chance to win a thousand Robux for free, and it could be you. And if you want to have a chance to win, it's really simple to enter. First of all, like this video. Secondly, set for the channel with post notifications turned on. And let's just call me your favorite feature of this video in the comments and you'll be entered. That's it. Anyways, good luck and enjoy. To download the script, go to the first link in the description or search up robotscripts.net on your web browser and you'll be seeing this website as you can see. So there are two ways to get the script. The first and the best way is to download Ferg Ultra which is an exploit you see on my screen right now as it has all the website scripts built into this game hub as you can see and has blocks fruits right here as you can see. And you can find Ferg Ultra on the top right of the website and to install it just go all the way down to you see red download button right here as you can see. But if you don't want the script itself and already own an executor, go to the search bar up the top right and just search for blocks fruits right here. Then hit enter and you'll be seeing all of the results as you can see. And the one we'll be looking for is this one, the first one right here. Click on it. And I'll be showing you how you can install it. But again, guys, I recommend you download Ferg Ultra instead. But it's up to you. And let me just go down to you see down button and click on down button right here. And that will open up this page. And you will see a few steps on it. You might see more or less depending on your country. But I only have one at the moment, so I'm going to click on it. And I have to read one article. Just click on one. I'll do this one right here. Go back and it will be done as you can see. And you will see in this work ink page. And you'll be seeing a few steps again, but they're really simple as well. So the first step is to install a browser add-on. Click on it. It will say this. Install from Chrome. So click on that. And you will see in this page. Hit add the Chrome. Add extension and go back. And it will be done as you can see. Next, I'll read more articles. Click on that. And it will open up this. Hit the X and just wait for this to go to zero. And I'll be done as well. And you'll be seeing the last two YouTube steps. Just click on them and finish them. And once they're all done, just click on go to destination right here. And that will install the script in a TXT file as you can see. I'll just copy the script, just press Ctrl A, Ctrl C and open up Blocks Fruits. So once you are in Blocks Fruits, open up your Roblox Executor. And obviously I'll be using Ferg Ultra, link in the description. Make sure to download it. Anyway, go to the Execution tab and just put your script into the Execution tab right here. And hit execute and you will see the GUI as you can see right there. And for all Ferg Ultra users to make it easier for you, go to the game up and just search for Blocks Fruits in the search tab right here. And I click on that, you'll be seeing the GUI. The exact same GUI as you can see. So there is one, two, three, four, five lists as you can see. And all of these lists have some GUIs inside of them. And in total, we have over 60 GUIs built into this game hub, which means you have a lot of variety to choose from. But the best list is obviously the main GUIs list right here, which I also recommend you to use. So we got three new GUIs, Never Hub, Unique Hub, and also uh, Ho Ho Hub. And I'm gonna show you guys Never Hub first. I'm just gonna execute that. It's currently loading. And there we go, we have the GUI right here. So automatically, once you execute this GUI, it will go really fast, as you can see. Anyways, you have a lot of tabs here. So you have main, weapon, settings, stats, player, teleport, raid, and ESP, shop, food, and also misc, which is a lot of tabs to cover. I'll be showing you guys from top to bottom. So first of all, we have main right here. You will see some server info, as you can see. And on main, you can find the auto farm tab. So first of all, select a weapon right here. I'm going to select combat. Then simply enable auto farm level, and it will auto farm your level, as you can see. And we'll grab a quest, and then uh, defeat seven snow banners, as you can see and they can't touch you. It will get them all together and it will just beat them up at the same time. And look at the level I just got. Look at that XP as you can see. And it will just wait under the ground for them to respawn so I can continue the quest. They can also order from ectoplasms right here. They can farm uh, specific monsters on this list. So you can farm the Bennett if you want that, Gorilla, all of these if you want that. And if you want, you can just farm the nearest monster. So we'll just farm the person uh, near to you. Then you have auto materials. So you can do auto angel wings, auto leather, auto scrap metal, and all of these stuff. You can also order from bones and auto them surprise. I don't know what that is to be honest, but you can just do that. Another really cool feature is okay, look at that. Uh, is you can uh, auto farm chest. So once you enable this, it will pretty much auto farm chest. Look at that. And it will grab any chest around you, but you might get damaged by the sea. They can also auto second tier, also auto third tier right here. So if you're in the second tier or in the first, you just enable these and it will automatically see, uh, farm those seas. They can auto farm factories right here if you want that. Auto farm blocks for masters. It will pretty much auto farm your double fruit right here. So once you enable this, it will pretty much uh, use your uh, Devil Fruit's ability to finish the enemies off. And that will level up your uh, Devil Fruit. It could do the same thing for your Gun Mass Street right here. So look at that, I'm going to show you guys this. So it's going to go grab a quest. Look at that, it's going to go out of them. And once they're at, let me see, 3% health, it will use my uh, blocks. Look at that, they're low. I'm just going to use that. And there we go, I just finish them off with my blocks fruit. Which is really cool, as you can see. It can do some settings, so you can pretty much uh, auto skill Z, X, C, or V if you want that. They can farm boss, so just farm this boss right here. I don't know from boss. It's gonna go to that boss and it will go auto farm him as you can see. It can even do auto farm boss for a quest or you can do auto farm all boss. So pretty much auto farm every single boss in the map. They can auto farm observation if you want that. 
I don't know what that is to be honest, but you can just auto from that. They can do auto law boss and you can do some fake chat for me, so it'll pretty much be used for to troll your friends. I'm just go here real quick. I'm gonna go auto from that boss so I can show you guys the rest. So there you go, I'm gonna go auto from this boss for so Bobby. And he can't touch me because I want to see it above him and he cannot touch me as you can see. And now he is finished. And there we go, we just finished him. So look at this guys, I'm gonna go enable fake Ming V4. And look at that. Look at that. Okay, that looks really cool, guys. And you can do the same for a uh, goal. And look at that. Boom. Skip EMV4. And look at this, guys. Boom. And at last, you have Ming Dash. And it will just enable that. You can just see the dash animation if you dash. How do you even dash in this game? Oh, look at that. Now I can use the animation. But I'm pretty sure one of these GUIs in this hub has a real transformation script inside of him. So make sure to, like, test these GUIs. I can also auto God Chalice, which is coming soon. So you can now use it now. Next off, we have weapons right here. They can do auto soul guitar, auto soul guitar hop, which is not a thing yet, but it will be soon. They can do auto do boss, so can pretty much auto cake prince and auto king v2. They can do the same thing for auto body sword, auto elite, auto hello sight, the dark uh, dagger, swan glass saber, and all of these swords in this list. Then you have the same thing for fighting stuff, so you can do auto superhuman, auto god human, and all that. You can do some stuff for like auto observation hacky v2, auto evil race if you want that. And you can do the same thing at last for advanced dungeon. Next off you have a setting step so you can pretty much change settings for the auto form and all that. So you can do auto set spawn points, brain mobs when auto forming. You have a magnet so pretty much uh, like grab any coins and all that to you. They can do bring mob fast, VIP bring mob which is really cool as well. They can remove attack animation so once you enable this it will like look at this. There's no animation when I attack as you can see which could be useful if you want that. They can do fast attack so it will pretty much attack really fast. Or you can do fast attack too, which is a different method for that. And then you have super fast attack, which will attack really, really, really fast. But this might get your case, so it's, it's up to you if you want to use that. Then you can anti FK, so once you enable this and you're auto farming while being AFK, it will not kick you out of the game. Then you can boost your FPS right here, or enable wide screen, so it'll pretty much boost more FPS. And it can also select lock level farm and enable that. Next off, you have stats, so here you can pretty much uh, enable these, and it will use your stat points among, uh, among all of these uh, stats equally. Let's say you have 100 points, it will just divide all of these 100 equally among these stats. And it will do that while auto farming and all that, which is pretty cool. So, like, you can just be AFK while doing it. Next, you have players. So, here you have a lot of stuff as well. So, you can pretty much, uh, let's say I want to see this guy. I can, like, see what he's doing. Yeah, I can see what they're doing, as you can see. And I can also TP them. So, once I enable this, it will just TP towards him, as you can see. But it might be a bit too far. I'm going to choose someone else. Let me see. This guy, maybe. Yeah, he's seen closer than him. I can just TP to him and I can see what he's doing. So, as you can see, I am currently where he is right here and i can also auto from so once you enable this it will auto from the person but make sure you don't enable that if you're on the same team so like we're currently on the same team so i cannot do that to him currently then you can also auto quest players so once you enable this it will pretty much uh enable a quest where you have to defeat him and give you money and xp for that they can do auto aimbot and also auto aimbot skill i can also enable pvp or enable safe mode if you want that and that's it for players so next up you have teleports you can just tp to different worlds you can tp to the old world second c first you're the sea beast and last you can tp to any island in this list so i can tp to let's say a desert and it will just go there and as you can see you can also disable it and it will just stop tp'ing there we go next off you have ray plus esp so you can pretty much uh, auto farm uh, dungeons and that's a lot of stuff for a dungeon as well they can have esp for players chests fruits flowers and also islands as you can see i can see a fruit right there on that island right there and it's really far away but i'm gonna go try to go grab it and on the fruit tab you can actually enable grab fruit and we'll just grab the fruit for you but there is a range for us you can pretty much so you have to get close to the fruit to actually grab it so i'm gonna tp to fountain city so I'm just gonna go there where's Fountain City right here teleport I'll just teleport me there I'm gonna grab that fruit for you guys and actually once you're close to the fruit it will just grab it for you with the fruit feature just go to fruits you can pretty much enable the grab but I will just auto grab the fruit once you're really close to it so here we are I'm gonna disable this in a second there we go and here we have the fruit it's a, oh it's a really good fruit as well it's the uh let me see the light fruit I'm gonna go ahead and eat this fruit guys eat and there we go now we have the light fruit as you can see which is really cool but yeah then you have shops you can pretty much auto buy a but you can buy, auto buy geppo puso hockey all these stuff you can uh, buy fighting styles you can buy um, accessories swords guns and a lot more next you have fruit so you can pretty much uh, have a lot of features for fruits right here so you can uh, auto snap fruits so let's say you want to get the um, leopard fruit in the shop and you enable it, it will pretty much auto buy the fruit once it's in the shop for you. So it can be AFK when the fruit drops and are happening. And you will have the fruit for you. They can auto eat fruit if you want that. So we can just auto eat one of these fruits in the list. Then you can auto random fruit. So it's pretty much uh, buy random fruit for you. And it's got a diamond fruit as you can see. Just bought it randomly for me. I'm gonna sort that. Then you can auto drop fruit if you don't want a fruit. And you can also auto store a fruit. And you can grab fruits in your area, as I said before. And at last, if I miss tap here, you have a lot of stuff too. First, you can rejoin server. So you can pretty much go to a different server. Go to lower player server. 
can open the devil shop right here and you can buy stuff from here as well you can open your inventory if you want that you can open the food inventory if you want that i have a lot of foods as you can see then you can uh have a title name so so pretty much change your title name if you want that and the last thing is color hockey so when you see bullets you can change your color hockey as you can see and you also have highlight mode which just makes your game look cleaner then you can swap teams and you can unlock portals for your player right here you can go invisible if you want they can have a click tp tool so once you click on this just tp anywhere you want with the click tp tool as you can see which can be useful to troll players or just useful in combat as well then you can also stop all teleports so just stop teleporting when you're teleporting and you can redeem all the codes in the game if you haven't done that so they can enable rtx but once you enable this it will pretty much enable rtx mode as you can see they can do dodge no cooldown. you can have infinite energy so you can just jump infinitely as you can see or just dash infinitely look at that then you can have auto active race so it'll pretty much automatically activate your race infinite observation range infinite get point infinite soru and also no clip at last so you can pretty much go through walls as you can see and that was it for this gui guys and i'll be showing you some more you guys so i'm going to showcase you guys unique hub as well i'll only show how it looks because it will just take too much uh, time to just cover every single feature in the hub but just click on that and it will execute as you can see and there we go we'll say premium edition because it's a premium edition click on that and look at how clean this gui is guys you have so many features such as some world stuff player stuff fighting style stuff and a lot more then you also have whole hub which is one of the best gui's in the game right now so here you have whole hub which is really op2 and the best tab in my opinion is the troll tab right here because you can get a free triple dark blade as you can see you can also use the abilities to look at that it's really op as you can see and the best part about this is the admin command so once you click on that and go to the chat you can have admin command so i'll just type in and yeah, you can pretty much rain fruits here as well so once you enable this it will rain fruits as you can see and the fruits i'm getting i actually grab these fruits as well look at that look at my hands i have the fruit in my hand this one right here looks really cool as well soul fruit and yeah like these guys are actually really op guys i hope you liked them and if you did drop like and sub to the channel and i'll see you in the next video bye